I'm Greg King, the product manager for Full Stack DR. One of the decisions you'll make when creating DR protection groups is whether to add your virtual machines as movable or non-movable compute instances. You inform Full Stack DR how you want compute to behave during a DR operation by choosing to make virtual machines either movable or non-movable when adding them as members to a protection group. You choose the type of DR behavior for compute by either unchecking this box or leaving it checked when adding compute as members. How do you decide which to use? It depends on how you deployed your application stack for DR. For example, if you've created and deployed compute in only one region in preparation for a VM failover strategy such as a cold standby or pilot light, then you'll choose movable compute by leaving this box checked. However, if you've created and deployed compute for a recovery strategy such as active-active or an active-passive scheme like warm or hot standby, then you'll choose non-movable compute by unchecking this box like this. You can also include both movable and non-movable compute in the same DR protection group if that fits your needs. So, let's explore movable compute a little more. In essence, you're telling full stack DR to move the compute instance to another OCI region for a VM failover when the box is checked. Full stack DR doesn't really move your compute. It simply restarts the replicated version of the same VMs at the standby region. This means you also need to add the volume groups containing the boot and block volumes for VMs as members of the DR protection group. Any volume groups you add as members for a movable compute must have cross-region replication enabled. You also need to select the VCN and subnets each VM expects to access at the standby region. Full Stack DR will use these settings to validate that the VCNs and subnets exist at the standby region during the pre-check validation phase. It also uses these settings to attach the VNICs for each compute instance to the correct VCN and subnets at the standby region. I go into much more detail about this topic in other videos. Now let's talk about non-movable compute. In this scenario, you will provision the compute in both regions. Full Stack DR will simply start your applications on virtual machines that are already up and running at the second region, completely ignoring the virtual machines at the first region unless you tell it otherwise. It's your decision about whether you want the compute or application to be running or stopped at the standby region during normal operations. When you uncheck this box, the network settings disappear because the VMs are not replicated or restarted at the standby region. You also don't need to add any boot or block volumes associated with the non-movable compute as members of the protection group. Call your deployment strategy anything you want. MAA Silver, Bronze, Gold, Platinum, Active Active, Pilot Light, Cold, Warm, Hot Standby, Active Passive, whatever. We don't care what you call it. Full Stack DR can handle automating the recovery steps for any deployment architecture you've already implemented to meet the service level for each individual business system in your tenancy. You simply inform Full Stack DR how you want it to control your virtual machines during a DR operation by choosing to make your compute either movable or non-movable. That's it. I hope this video was helpful and thanks for watching.